Alright, what's up community? Uh, this video is going to be titled, Does Tarek Really Have a Peanut Brain? The big question. So, this, this is just a demo review of uh, their latest match. I mean, the, the last match Tarek's played on Optic. Um, I don't want to put too much pressure on him, you know, playing in, in his first matches in C9 and reviewing those matches, because obviously the chemistry won't be set, and um, I think it'd just be unfair to uh, to base everything on his first matches with C9, so might as well take one of, one of his uh, last matches with Optic, a team with whom he's played for about, I don't know, six months, maybe more, who knows, I can't remember. Let's put a bit of volume right here. Where's Derek? What number is he? Zero. <sighs> so they're setting up for a full A take. Let's talk with Flash. Spooky players have contact. They get fucked. He gets fucked as well. Um. Nothing. He, he didn't. He didn't really do anything wrong right there. Um, I don't know who's calling for them, but usually you would want the first guy in to clear a uh, forklift, which he did. Uh, and he was like the second guy in a main, so obviously you need to get yourself uh, into sight since both of your squeaky players died. So that was fine. Probably could have waited half a second to throw uh, his flash because when he flashed, the smoke wasn't exactly up. But it's not really the end of the world. I dislike the strat. Uh, I think if you're gonna send people squeaky, you send more than two. Two isn't enough. I was actually kind of surprised that SK played in the uh, sight on pistol. Usually, people just give it up. I could have probably muted myself right there. Alright, so optics taking mid control. Just holding for pushes. This is the classic work for picks strat. He's working by himself, spamming, he's getting blocked, they're gonna go into B. <laughs> Yet again. I don't see anything wrong with what he did. I dislike like the idea behind the strat, but you didn't do anything wrong. You gotta drop out of vent. Just got wrecked. Fair enough. So far, so good for so far, so good for Tarek. The thing with Tarek is he makes mistakes late round when when he's got a clutch. Playing anti flash the entire time. They have one flash. You know what they're waiting for? A CT smoke. <laughs> they want to flash push a smoke, but the CTs haven't smoked it. So you can't really flash anything right there. And you got a dry peak, which is never good if you're if you don't have armor. This isn't something else uh, that I, you should never see. I mean. If Tarek isn't doing anything wrong, might as well comment on what the, the, the CTs are, the, the, like what, what the, the terrorists are doing as a, as a squad. On an eco round, you really shouldn't be switching your mind up. You have no map control, you decided to rotate from A to B, you got wrecked by a guy mid, you got three kills. It's, it's just, it's, it's moronic. Now Taco is just making boneheaded plays. But what do you want me to say, man? Yeah, he sh Derek should have been with this teammate. But it's fucking it. He go around. So that's a mistake. He should have been. He should have stayed with this teammate. And there's really no reason for you guys to uh, split up, especially if your teammate's gonna flank T spawn. Because most likely, you're gonna be the one seeing someone. So, because you're close mid, that's pretty dumb for you to be by yourself. Number zero. 
Space, space. Um, I'm guessing this is our default. No one squeaky, no one watching boost, no one watching mid, no one guy watching mid push. Okay. And this guy watches boost now. Alright. Oh, he just saw someone. He shouldn't be out in the open like this with no teammate. Like, now he's got someone in A main, so. Is he in A main? Yeah. Now it's fine. He shouldn't be picking those angles by himself, though. This is moronic. There's an opera, you're dead, nobody can trade. I. I God, I dislike this. What the fuck? Oh, that's a lurk smoke. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it is. Just a lurk smoke. So, at first, he made a big mistake. That's a mistake. That's, you should never see someone by himself peeking out in the open. Especially angles where you can't chill, jiggle peek or you can't hide. Like, you see someone, he's dead. He is so exposed. Uh, I like how they base their entire strat on a fucking smoke uh, gimmick. Is that <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. Yet again, he's boy. Is he is he alone? No, there's a, someone else the right side of the main. They're walking up. He's entering. He gets getting kind of flashed. Did, I'm not sure if he called that he was blind. What the. There's a lot of mistakes right here, so probably didn't comment he was blind, or if he did, his teammate should have uh, waited for him to be on blind since he's because the first guy went in. But uh, as Terry goes, once he peeked, once he flashed the guy uh, truck wall, and he cleared default. That split second when you clear default, right here, and I've explained this in another video. You, you need to uh, clear default at this spot and then swing wide to clear quad, which he didn't. He just ignored quad, got wrecked, and so did his team because of probably his fault, his mistake. He should have been the first one to clear quad if he had done that. Whether he dies or not, at least they get the trade. They don't just get caught off guard. This is another... I'm, I'm not going to comment on these because uh, working picks by yourself, I mean... It's fairly obvious why you shouldn't do it. And if anybody comments in the section and say, in the section below and says uh, this is a new meta, I'm gonna fucking find you and hit you, dog. It is ridiculous to um, have as a round idea or strategy or work picks. I this is something I have to dislike. I like more organized stuff using your nades to your advantage so first round he was the A main player now he's suddenly the B main player what the fuck why does it change so much on their default I don't know he wasted his utility B hopefully to keep both B players there which didn't happen because I'm guessing Fallen quick is opping he didn't see anybody so Um, I'd say it's not uh, all right. And he just whiffed, so not really on his fault. He peeked on the right. His teammate was out of trade. What he did right there was fine. He waited for the flash. To me, the first guy in should be on the right side. He should be running on. Actually, I'll point that out. You smoke quad and you smoke cross. By you going on the right side of a main, you're exposing yourself to. He was the first one, the, the first one, to uh, forklift and uh, catwalk at the same time, which is something that you will never want to do. So at least when you run on the left side, nobody can be close to, close here and close here because they had someone squeaky. Um. So by running up on the left side, this guy catwalk, he can't peek you, obviously he's not going to be fucking out. And you only have one angle to worry about, and once you've cleared for cliff, then you uh, you can rotate to, uh, to pushing side. So, that's a small mistake. Going back to, um, going back to the, 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 the B utility usage, 
man. Doing all of that without showing yourself, it, it doesn't do much. Like, this isn't fucking... And I hate when I see teams do fakes with one guy. Shit never work. It should never work. It only does work when when uh, the, the opposite team is making a mistake. Alright, so he's just spamming stuff. He's gonna smoke Z now. Close to how I do it as well. Let's do a holding game main. That's their default. I'm, I'm gonna try not to, com to comment on Optic as, as, a, as a unit because they suck. Uh, macro wise, they're very bad. I'm not sure who's calling, but unorganized. Why is he by himself boost? Who can trade with this guy? Who can fucking trade with him? Nobody! I'm pausing this. This makes me so angry. It's You're up 5v... 4v... 4v3. First rule in CS. When you're up numbers, what do you want? You want trades. I mean, even if you're even numbers, you fucking want trades at all times. Why is he in a spot? So, why can't I fucking move? God, this sucks. He's getting boosted by himself. Right? So, he's speaking the left side of mid. His opper is speaking the right side of mid. They both can't trade with each other, right? If the, the guy's playing behind highway box, he won't see him. If the guy's playing sandbags, they didn't molly it, he won't see uh, the, his, his, his teammate won't see him. If the guy is now in Z, right before the smoke disappears, his teammate won't be able to see him in time. It doesn't matter if he jumps on the box, it'll still take about... Like, he can get away with it. The CT player can definitely get away with it. All of this, him crossing right here, Nobody can trade. You still can trade. If this guy peeks right, right up close, he can trade. There's no, no fucking uh, spacing. You need both players. If you want to do it mid take, you need three players. And if you're gonna do it with two players, you need both players to come from the the, the same fucking angle. If he's gonna come from mid main, then have the mid guy uh, swing to the right, so that they they they're both uh, close close enough to each other where where they can trade and they're all looking at the same thing. And then swing to the left, uh, cross to the left side of mid with a flash highway. So you can still fucking trade. Thanks. That was my little rant. I forgot I was doing it. Now they're gonna go mid to B. What? He's a rifler. He should be the one dropping. He should be going in sight. What the fuck is he doing? What the f <laughs> What is this? What am I watching? What are you doing, Derek? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? Alright, dude, this guy's got what? Oh, fuck me, that was bad. Okay, first of all, he should be the one dropping vents. Second of all, the opera should not be the one running inside. Third, you need to fucking get your ass into sight once your teammate dies. Some need, so, like, someone needs to pick up the slack and it won't be your fucking opera. You don't stand out in the open like a fucking idiot waiting for a, a, a heaven player to uh, make a mistake and peek out. Don't do that. Nobody, you, you need to fucking trade the kills, man. What, like, come on, man, come on. If someone's watching the flank and it, it, it's, the, it's the fucking opera, it ain't you. God damn. It's only 11 a.m. right here. Can't go back to me. By a boost mid. <laughs> well, nothing there was his fault. That's just unlucky. Unlucky and bad strat. If you don't have map control, you need to go fast. I have no clue what he's doing. I guess there's nothing really wrong with what he's doing. There's something wrong with what the team's doing, not really him. He smoked Z, they didn't use the smoke for Z. Z. Like, that shit doesn't make sense, but that's macro. That, that ain't really Tarek's fault. Now he smoked out of a uh, squeaky, that really means someone's in someone's likely to be in squeaky. Now you have your teammate, so either you flash push it with two people, or you wait out the flash. That the smoke. 
at this point, I don't know why I skated that don't have three people in A. Because they had, they didn't take mid control uh, optics. So. They had two, so I guess it's, that's enough. There's, there's a gap in the smoke. I don't know why he's spamming the right side of this. Uh, there's there's still a gap. He keeps picking the gap, dude. Instead of just fucking jumping across. All right. He's gonna peek, isn't he? Yeah. It's 4v3. Is there a reason for him to peek? All these angles? Not really. And boosting is fine. I mean, now that your teammate's peeking on top of fucking red, you can peek, obviously. He should be holding an angle. Just hold an angle. Stick to it, dog. You have four people. That's what he should have been doing right off the bat. They know the CTs are saving, so they're just gonna save their guns. Fair enough. Nothing wrong there. There's a gap in the smoke, in the cross smoke, and he keeps spamming the fucking gap. If there's someone struck with an AWP, you're dead. <laughs> you don't do that. Nobody's there to trade again, and nobody will ever fucking trade that guy anyway. And, like, his AWPer, Mixwell, was posted on quad, I think, or something like that. And he was still spamming instead of walking up forklift to be able to trade the kill really fast. He, he was still able to, you know, to, uh, to trade a kill because they mollied the uh, fence. But... So they got out mid. Yet again, he's by himself on that left side of uh, mid. Whatever, what, it, what he's doing right now, no cover from highway. If the guy's playing behind highway box, that's a free kill for him. He, he didn't even fucking peek it. So that's another mistake. I should really mute my mic when I do this. Sorry. Yeah. SK gives mid, mid up a lot, so maybe they know that. Maybe that's why he wasn't really worried about the highway. Though he should still fucking be peeking it, and you should you should still be clearing highway with a flash before jumping on him on the on the end. He his his uh, spacing is so bad that he wasn't able to trade right away after his teammate, right? So that was pretty bad. And at the same time, they took their time, and he was the last one in, so that the smoke dissipated there, and he just got wrecked by the opera. So he should have been closer to his teammate, picking the same thing as his teammates, and um, yeah, just being faster. I don't think that's really on him. The spacing is on him, but everything else is uh, the the caller's fault, the game leader's fault. I chose this game because they lost. Um, it's easier to point out mistakes in the loss usually. Though you can still do it in the win, but you know. I know the way Tarek uh, thinks, though I'm pretty sure you won't watch this video, but players like Tarek think that you know if it worked, it worked. Slow default right here, he's watching boost, nothing wrong with what he's doing. They're gonna take my control. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, she's not the one smoking. No smoke Z. Why is he picking these angles? He's a lurk. Okay. That makes no sense. It makes no sense for him to be that close up when his teammates aren't even in B. Like, if you're gonna be high, if you're gonna be boosted, you're not a fucking scout. You're not there to take info. You're there to lurk. If you're by yourself, you're there to lurk. You should not be peeking anything before your team gets into B and then you, you can just hold the fucking cross event. Um. They lost a 5v4 for no reason. Yet, yet again, it's 
he shouldn't be he shouldn't have been peeking. That's on him. But at the same time, he shouldn't even been there. It's a five v four group up and fucking trade the kills. That's that's really the game leader's fault. But he he made a mistake as well. Well, let's keep this. I'm not looking at the match, I'm just looking at Tarek. My boy Tarek. Oh, fuck, I just farted. It's gonna be another eco round with one flash, probably A main. At this point, you know the opera is B, so. To me, if it, I, I would just flash off the, the flash off uh, the B and five men rush the opera. They would have won the round as well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, not really his fault. I mean, that's just this, how the strat is. Uh, someone's outside, like they had some someone right here who's gonna smoke probably the end of uh, either the cross or or the ba or, or backside. So Tarek ended up being by himself there. So he was the the one flashing for his teammate. He just got killed. I would say even when you're alone, uh, when you run up a main, run up here, you just run with your back turn because the CTs can't even see you, so it's not really you're not running at risk. Someone just pushed a main, and you gotta die right there. What is he doing? What is he doing? What the fuck? You know, you know, he was feeling this. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm about to catch this Aubrey off guard right here, dog. I'm flashing. I'm pushing through. You'll never expect this. And he gets wrecked. Uh, see, I would need to be in mumble and listen to their comps to know if that was his call, if he decided to make the play on his own, or if it was the the game leader's call. I mean, both were terrible. So, very much to say, but. What's the point of flashing? Doing a terrible flash at first. If that flash not gonna flash, it's not gonna blind anyone. It bounces, right? Like it's it's easy to dodge, and you're not peeking with it. You're actually waiting for the flash to pop before you cross. It's I don't understand the the point of that flash, nor the play. Should have been with this. If you want to push through a smoke, and pop flash to smoke and push with multiple people instead of doing it by yourself. I'm astounded, dude. I haven't really watched Optic play. I made a, bit, a video about why give NA IGL suck, and someone responded, "You think this applies to every uh, NA IGL?" Yeah, now, what? yes, I do. <laughs> I don't care if they're playing with a fucking fifth. Uh, I don't care if like Terex calling because Jason R left the team. You should never. If you're a pro player, you should be able to fucking in game lead. Nobody shouldn't be able, everybody should have the basics of in-game leading, dude. It is the easiest thing to do. That's not true, but... It's not the easiest thing to do, but... I mean, at this level, like, fucking set, knowing how to set a default, knowing when to take, how to take mid-control, all this shit should be fucking, you know, second nature of these guys. Alright, so they're gonna fucking go for it, they're gonna go for a fast B. The clear checkers. They got smoked out. Gonna push the vent. Not bad, not bad, not bad. They have no smokes left. They're gonna lose this round. <laughs> Why do they have no smokes left? Hey, Molly default. Obviously, that's all you need. Wow. That's okay. I mean, what he did is fine. Still, good, still fine. I mean, oh, someone was already watching flank. That that makes it still fine. Still fine. Not his fault. That was his fault. We didn't have a smoke. They flashed across. It didn't work. Everybody died. He flashed across. Didn't work. Tip died. At this point, whoever was below vent, the, he should have calmed and said, and that's 2v2. Like, he, they should have slowed it down, because uh, they knew where both players were. And just, whoever was, was, was watching vent by then, just come with him. And you guys pop flash uh, CT and 
Hey, you know one CT and one heaven, you just fucking push the guy CT, he's got an op, you'll get you'll get a one for one, then it's a one v one. Uh, at worst you'll get a one a one for one, and at best you're just gonna get the entry because your flash worked, so uh that was a mistake, but not, not a huge one I'd say. Not as big as all the all the other ones I've seen this have. This match is going to end like 16-10, so we're going to see him play a bunch of rounds on CT side, which is good. About 10 rounds on CT. Now, that's fine, having two people boosted. Finally, a good player. Okay. Sandbags. Yeah. That's their execution is bad. Yeah, not his fault. He's got 16 HP. He he's stuck there. Really, it really wasn't his fault. The execution is just poor. His, his flash does nothing. Nobody's flashing over. Nobody's got a good ball flash. Um, I think they, they mollied sandbags and the guy smoked himself off so he should have known that someone was sandbags but he, he still has to clear close mid that's his role as the uh, the, the, the lone rifler a boost so really not on him I'm not sure why they're fucking pausing if, if you want to pause it would have been when you were down like 7-0 maybe that's a technical pause let's see Oh, it's not. Alright, boys. Whenever you're ready. Oh. What number is Derek? Still zero. I thought it changed. Whenever you do a demo review of a pro player, you assume that you won't really have much to say. Well, this wasn't the case. And I hate to point out mistakes that I'm sure he knows. He knows about, but if he keeps making them after having played pro for four years, that means he either he doesn't or he doesn't believe their mistakes. He believes it's on. It's because of timing. That made no sense what he just did. <laughs> what he just did made no sense. He should have died. Repeaking still makes no sense. He's got no backup. I've got. I don't care if he gets fucking five kills. As soon as, first of all, jumping out of this fucking smoke makes no sense. Second, you're exposing yourself to two angles for no reason for three seconds. Second, as soon as you spotted four, five, four or five uh, boost, you can take one more peek right, like as they're crossing right here, and take one shot. Hopefully, you'll get a headshot. And he doesn't, he spams, and then he keeps speaking three more times. I mean, they whip on him, so he's lucky. And he falls back to a more passive angle. But really, nobody's got his back, because nobody's speaking from a, from a, a main. From a site. They weren't, I checked. And he just got, he got two kills, because, you know, people missed, and he had good aim. Good for him. But by then, as soon as he beat saw everybody, he should definitely just fell off of e by an e box and said hey yo one of you guys in a jiggle peek a uh, highway and if you want to triple peek it because they had one quad one site i think or one fence one site triple peek highway and you guys can clear it once you see multiple people if you want to play it like that so you should have fallen back you shouldn't have crossed mid a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes They won the pistol though, so good. I want them, I want it. <sighs> My bad. I want to see um, them play at least three or four gun rounds. Yeah, 2-1-2, two, two, decent setup against Ecos. I hope that's not their setup against gun rounds. It's one flash for him. I don't know if that was a T flash or a CT flash. 
I'm assuming it was a CT flash. Why did he leave highway? I've got no clue. Why why did he reposition himself? So passive. He hasn't lost mid. He was just spotting mid, so this makes no sense, right? There's no reason for your to for your A players to be wary of highway if you haven't lost mid. That makes no sense. See how the fucking guy uh, red has to look at highway, and then once they're gonna cross site, he'll be he'll always be wary of highway. Look at this. Dude. This is so awkward. The take is a B. Flashes for his team. He'll probably just run up because his team is fighting. The it's not a bad decision because Hayes was still fighting at that point. He got two kills, meaning that it's unlikely that someone's really looking at heaven. Because two, like usually a terrorist, if they're down two people, like they gotta, you know, the, the other three have to pick up the slack uh, and push in sight and clear uh, haste. So wasn't a bad play. He holds this angle, All right? They can trade. So not a bad play. Nothing really bad. The only thing is, probably he should he should have he should have been pre-aiming at B uh, at B main as he was going up. So, but since everybody was fighting, I I don't disagree with him peeking out of uh, ever. I don't know why he gave up mid though. I'm not sure about this molly. This does nothing to you for you. It's a late molly. Usually you want to molly off the right off the bat to make sure nobody uh, picks up. Um, Peaks from boost as you're crossing highway, and if you want to play close mid, make sure nobody picks up boost when you're crossing to close mid, when you're going up close mid. So that's why mollying boost uh, soon is useful. Mollying boost after five seconds to real does nothing. Like I don't know what you're getting from that, except you're losing six hundred bucks. Right, Molly should be used into the in in, in the into uh, situations to prevent an early push and to uh, stop and execute. I mean, actually, you, on CT side, you can also obviously um, I don't know, I don't have the fucking word. You can squeeze someone in an awkward spot with a molly, I guess. Squeeze isn't really the word, I don't have it. English isn't my first language, dog. Or people. Alright, so it's A, by now he knows it's A, he's gonna rotate. As the mid player, you're the first to rotate, so if your B player dies, you have to go B. And usually an A player has gotta have to pick mid the mid, yeah, the mid the slack. Alright. He's aware of his flank. It's good. Nothing bad. He just got killed because it's boost. He will he was with his teammate, he just, you know. Got two shot. He, you could say he could peak the angles better slowly but slower, but it's a retake, everybody's running, so. I don't really agree with that. He's scouting. Why does he only have a scout? He's by himself. This makes no sense. If he's playing B by himself, he needs information. So when he gets smoked out, he should be peeking this angle. He needs more information. Even if he's by himself. like Just like what you saw Fallen do with his AWP. If he wants to make sure that he stays alive, he can peek a very, very tight angle, but like right there, this makes no sense for me. I don't know why you're doing that. What the fuck? You're fishing for information when you don't need to. It's 5v4. You decided to play passive uh, at the beginning of the round. You need to keep on playing passive. You're by yourself. You don't have any support. Now you're rotating. Nobody's seen the fucking bomb. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? 
What the fuck? Why is there three A and nobody mid? Oh my god, these guys are bad. Retaking B is the worst. If there's a side that you should be retaking, it's, it's A, not fucking B. I don't know why everybody's rotating because of like a trade. How's this? It's his mistake. If he's soloing B, he should be the one saying, even if someone says, yo, yo can you peek mid? Hell no. One of you guys need to fucking peek highway, dog. They say my role. I can't just leave B. You can't just leave B like that. B is not retakeable. It's re it's retakeable if you have checkers control for some reason. And B main control. <laughs> Gonna play for exits. I wish he would just trade his scout for uh, whatever gun Haste had. Sorry. Bring it to 1510, I think. Let's see. Yet again, scouting B. He likes Fallen. He knows he likes them. I don't disagree with him repeating because he's got the, 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 the advantage because he's the one holding the, the angle. So, there's nothing wrong with that. Now it's 5v3, so giving a B is okay. This I'm fine with. Shot. It's fine to re-peek if, uh, if like as soon as you shot, you shot your first bullet, you didn't see anybody, you know, right to, you didn't see anybody trade really fast, so you still have, uh, you're still the one holding the angle. At this point, you should you should not be repeeking. Now he's got two teammates in vent, so if he keeps. Re oh my god. He shouldn't be repeating these angles. Why die? Why die? I don't see why he would die. As long as he's alive, Taco has to worry about his cross and vent. Once he dies, Taco doesn't have to worry about his cross, he only has to worry about vent. Uh, I'm skipping this. This is demo review about Tarek, not the entire team. Sorry. Alright. Couple of mistakes right there. He shouldn't have repeated that many times. He got away with it, but. That usually costs. That can cost you rounds easily. I'm not sure why he bought head armor. I'm not sure why Haze bought head armor. Nor Nav. Okay. Oh, my bad. One problem with this setup in mid, uh, you need someone else to play close mid with you. If I show you right here, someone has to cover his close mid. Because otherwise, He'll be stuck having to watch two angles, yeah. And timing can just can be a bitch right there. It it can work out it can work out great for him. Or someone could just drop and kill him. Yeah, I shot him. I don't disagree with the the, the 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 boost or anything. I think someone else should play close like vent area or right below boost. But yeah, that's it. You need to commit more people there. If you're gonna opt in that that uh to that angle. Oh my god, I am so angry that just happened. Oh fuck. No Where was I? Can't remember.
I can skip right now. It's easy. I think this is the round. Yeah. Sorry about that. I gotta go poop. God damn it. <sighs> I don't know where he plays. He just switches every fucking round. Maybe because he had a scout, he decides to solo me, but his real spot is mid. Okay. Yet again, you know it's an ego. 2 on 2, good setup. No reason to. Uh, I mean, I, he didn't spot anybody. You, I, you use the, I mean, to me, you use that nade after you spotted someone. You don't just like, nade time it, but it's not like the end of the world. I don't see why he would do that right here. This is just risks for no reason. I don't see the risk reward this isn't really there to me. It's not a uh, it's not high enough or good enough to make that play. There could have been multiple people boosted. He could have gotten traded even with the flash. Um could have been someone on the boost just holding Z for some reason with the Deagle. And that guy would have been able to just crouch as soon as he was blind. And by the time the Tarek uh, peaked close mid, th that guy wouldn't wouldn't have been blind anymore. He would have peaked up again and they would have traded Tarek very, very easily. So no reason for him to make that play. He's playing by the smoke by himself. Uh, that is a sweet spray transfer. It's an off angle, so... There's, he's got no support there, but playing close mid is always a risk, so I don't really have an issue with it. It's something you do more in pugs than in games, but you know, it can work out in games as well. Yeah, again, why give up mid? Might as well keep on spotting it. Like, you're not gonna die if you spot it. Like you, I don't know why you have to sp to to uh, to lose mid control like that. You lose so much information for no reason. Like he shouldn't have been. You, sh you shouldn't have to peek this angle. You shouldn't need someone's uh, truck to look at Z flank. Like oh, this is just bad. It's five v three, man. Just play highway and spot the f spot mid. You see one guy white box. And the guy white box gets a free kill. It's, oh, there's only one second left. Okay. Well, I'm fine with the play right there. With what Tarek did. I didn't see that the time it was going out. Uh, playing default so might as well take some risks they got lucky that this isn't uh, this is a force buy so this, the terrorists aren't setting up in a default so they got away with it usually you'd have tag would have would have had to fight someone truck or at this angle right there I never saw really teams do that but I think you can abuse this counter boost with a ball flash against default you can just boost and just someone ball flash. Alright. I disagree with him shooting at that point. I'd have liked to see him uh, peek right below him to see if anybody else was coming up and then shoot him, but it's not a mistake in and of itself. He got one, he fell off. Uh, he shouldn't have fought the second guy, but.
it's either like the the, the, the way you, you do it is either you kill him right away when you fall off because if you're gonna wait for someone else you might as well walk up and, and clear it it'll be faster and you'll waste like less time you'll have more information because it's the same risk waiting or peeking down They give up mid. Let's talk about his role in this round. His role is to keep on looking at Z the entire round. Uh, you can peek it with a flash from A, but you're really stuck there. They're, they're gonna swap. Mixwell shouldn't be truck. Mixwell should be inside. I'm just looking at highway. I don't know why he wasn't, but now that he's struck. Trying to figure out why they're doing what the fuck? Best smoke in A. Playing whatever he's doing now is now when you're down four v five, you want someone to like may try to make a play. This is exactly what he's doing. It worked out. So. I don't disagree, but I would have liked to see Mixwell be right behind him in E-Box holding his uh, highway bush as he was walking up. That's my only comment. Are they going to lose this round? Yeah, they, they are. So this is it. This is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, to the the question, does Tarek have a peanut brain? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Doesn't seem to to me to be the smartest player out there. Like I, I mentioned that some of those mistakes might have been the fault of the in game leader, but a lot of them were just his own decision making, being poor. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.